Well, if you guess uh, Sieg, Sieg, Chinese X2D Mini Mill, you would be correct. Now, it may or may not. Begin a couple of input on it. I guess we'll find out. Here's how the setup's gonna be. Uh, cheap hard freight toolbox for all tools and whatnot. Uh, the mill's gonna go there. That table thing isn't done yet. The reason I got this box is because I wanted to open it up and have all the electronics in here. So right now I just got the power supply and the steppers, the drivers. Uh, right now I'm gonna run it off a, a laptop I have, but I wanna get a standalone PC and I'll put that in here and have a monitor outside I want to have all the electronics in here and then out the back I'm gonna have this liquid tight and it's gonna come over here to where the back of the mill will be so all my wires can run through this and keep them running in and out of here cleanly and then I'll just have a, a laptop and a mouse up here for now. But when I put the PC in, I'm going to build an arm back here and mount the monitor over here so I can use this as a workbench, kind of. Now, you might think, that it seems like I know what I'm doing, but I can assure you I don't. Alright, uh, laid out here in a mess is all the, not this, mostly this is the uh, ball screws and mounts for the motors and whatnot. And I was going to make these myself, but I originally was going to buy one of these used on eBay. It's a good price, I think. But it sold like the night before I was going to buy it. And the guy messaged me and said he makes these kits for me. And he gave me a good price on one of these. And it seems pretty good. So if you're looking for a kit, I'll put a link to it in the description. I was pretty happy with them. And it comes with pretty good directions. That's everything you need to know. Mm, yeah. Let's put it on. So this is apparently a common problem with these. Uh, to get as much movement as you can. They make these screws pretty long and you gotta mill this little there's a little ledge there. I'm gonna have to just mill that out. Alright, this is where I'm at. Uh, I got a little light rigged up here. I'll probably make it a little more solid when I'm ready. Uh, let's put the Y axis back on and all the connections. I had my first uh, Anyways, I had my first battle scar here. It'll grow out. Uh, I was out getting wire for the motors here. I want to wire this up and 
run it back and forth to make sure everything works. It doesn't uh, bind up. Because I'll have to adjust this nut and that. Uh, and I was getting the wire. I found this thermostat wire, 5 wire thermostat wire. It has all the colors I need but black. So I think since it doesn't have the right colors, I'm going to do black here. Probably blue to red. Um, green. I'll just put the white. If it'll stay. And then the red will probably go to blue. Alright, I've got her set up here. Don't worry about that wiring, it'll be fixed up. Uh, for those of you who clicked off, or I guess you're gone. For those of you who are still here, I didn't actually wire them like that. But, uh, everything works. It doesn't bind up anywhere, so I think we're good. Hey, I'm trying to make a video. Anyways, uh, I got the X put on. Pretty simple. Nothing to it. Uh, the, for some reason, I had to put a spacer in here. The it's not still should be a little more farther in. It takes up the backlash, I guess, between this bearing and the bearing on the other side uh, and then I went to put the Z on and the directions say something about taking all this ball nut off and putting it back on but I don't see the point in that because I, I got the belt on already and it isn't that hard so if you have one of these kits uh, you don't have to take that all apart. Just picked up these nice new uh, calipers. Give them a listen here. Probably uh, go ahead and shave my face with that too. Okay, so it probably looks a little different. Uh, I've been kind of playing with it, as you can probably see there. This is kind of a little vice I came up with to do what I want. Uh, I made a couple T-nuts. I don't know how much that got recorded. The battery died on me. And then I got all these, these. This is the piece I'm going to be cutting right there. And hopefully just be a little wedge thing. I can do that, clamp this one, knock that in there a little bit and then clamp this one and hopefully it's stuck down good. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> 